So once you solve the white of, of the pentagon, um, the next step is very similar to the cube where you're solving this layer. But the difference is this second layer here is the equivalent to this next layer here on the pentagon. So you're looking for the, you already have like the one star piece, if that makes sense. And then you're looking for the second star pieces to go here. The colors that you're looking for is the two colors that are next to each other. So right here, you would be looking for the yellow and blue piece that goes here, the yellow and purple, the purple and green, the green and red, the red and blue, and again, the blue and the yellow. So I'm gonna look and I see that my blue and yellow piece is right here. I just wanna kind of spin it to where it's with in between the blue and the yellow. So my blue and yellow piece is right here with the blue, but it's not in between the blue and the yellow. So right now, I've moved it to where it's in between the blue and the yellow. Now in the same way that you would solve this, looking for and lining this green piece up, so it's green and orange. You know orange goes to the right side. The same thing here, you have this blue and orange piece, and the orange, you're kind of setting it up, you see my white face is down here, you're kind of setting it up and holding it in the same way that you would hold this cube, um, and you are doing the exact same algorithm. So I, I know that it needs to go to the right. So I'm gonna do the same algorithm that I would do to move this piece to the right. So if you remember this cube here. Puts that orange and green piece in the right spot. The same algorithm is true for this. Now I have my blue, my yellow piece where it needs to go. So I'm gonna repeat this. My orange or my purple and yellow just happens to be in the same spot. So in the same way that you would line up, so this piece right here you see is red, you would line it up with the red, knowing that it goes to the blue side. So same thing here, my orange or my yellow and purple piece, I need to line this top part up with the purple and then it needs to go to the right. So the algorithm I'm going to do is the exact same one. There we go. Um, I know that I need a red and a blue over here, but since it's already in this spot, I'm gonna find the purple and the green piece. Oh, it just happens to be right here, purple and green. And I'm just gonna turn it down. And again, I wanna put it in between either the green or the purple but since I wanna line it up with the purple, um, I know that it's going to go to the left side, so I'm gonna do the algorithm to match it there. And notice the piece that was there is now right here, the blue <coughs> and the red. So since I know where that is, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of twist it on over to put it in between the blue and the red piece. And again, remember, it has to go in between the blue and the red so which one does it go with? Well, the blue matches the blue here. So we know that it needs to go to the right side. So we're gonna do the algorithm for the right. All right, now I'm looking. This is how I check and see what else I need. So I see that I've got, this star has three pieces. This star has three pieces. Oop, this star only has two. I need a green and a red. So I'm gonna look. And I'm gonna see that the green and the red piece is right here. I'm just gonna kinda twist, not messing up anything I've done before, and put it in between the green and the red. And again, the red has to match up with the red. So we're gonna do the same algorithm. Okay, now I have successfully completed step two, which is the equivalent of completing step two on this Rubik's Cube as well. The two lines, or the two rows, excuse me, so this is step two on the Pentagon Rubik's Cube.